So today is June the 18th, 2020. And what started out is coming to the hospital for dehydration because since Tuesday, I had been throwing up and having diarrhea. My stomach was like really, really tight and I had like lower back pain. So I was just thinking it was like a stomach bug or something. Mm -hmm. So um, after, you know, throwing up that long and I was like, okay, I may be dehydrated. That's really bad for the baby. Let me go to the hospital, make sure everything is okay. So come to the hospital and um, do urine and whatever they monitor is okay. You look severely dehydrated. So um, she brought me a cup of water, which is somewhere over here. Yeah, brought me a cup of water. And then I said I was gonna try to get dehydrated that way first. Well, um, they put the monitors on and the baby kept running from the monitors and kicking the monitor so she had to keep coming to adjust it so then i say maybe like almost an hour later my midwife comes and she tells me um she gives me some news and so um yeah i may have preeclampsia and i may have to be transferred to another hospital try not to get too anxious and worry about it just trying to stay calm but I am very nervous because I'm only 32 weeks and three days and this is not what I was expecting. Like me and my husband joked about the baby coming early, but we wasn't thinking under these circumstances and the baby actually being this early. So I'm um, still being monitored and um, waiting on some other medicines. I think magnesium and something for the baby's lungs. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to have this baby um, via C-section or vaginally. That's if I have to deliver now. Hopefully, you know, my blood pressure and all this stuff kind of go down. And this doesn't become a thing. But whatever God has planned, I'm going to go with it. Because he knows better than I know. Um, so, yeah. So, I guess this is like the first little mini update. I can't tell y'all what none of the monitors or anything say because I can't see them. Um, everything's over there. Babe, babe had to leave to go pack a bag for us, a bag for the baby, and then a bag for Jay. Um, so that's where we are right now. And yeah, so I'll catch y'all in the next update. So here's the next update. Um, I got a shot for the baby's lungs and my hip or my butt and it hurt. It burned like hell. And then um, and then I got magnesium and it's starting to make me a little warm. Um, I have these little socks on my feet and I got some little things around my ankles. I don't really know what that's for. Probably for make sure I don't get no blood clot or nothing. I want to make sure the blood is still circulating in my um in my legs. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get some rest. Oh, I got a catheter too, which was very uncomfortable. It's a lot different being in labor and getting a catheter than when you're not really in labor. Well, you're not in labor and you get a catheter. It's very different, very uncomfortable. So, um, just thought I'd give another update. And I'm going to try to get me some rest now because it's probably going to be a long process. So, uh, in about 30 minutes, they will be transferring me to another hospital um, just in case I have to have the baby early. But um, hopefully, when, they, when I get there and they check my labs and and do all of this stuff again that everything is kind of like normal or lower where they'll send me home and then that way my baby could cook a little bit longer so that's where we are so i just want to do another update i am so just want to do another update i am actually at the hospital i had to be transferred to and i've been here about two hours and this waterproof case is making my screen a little blurry. But I've been here about two hours. And um, so far my blood pressure has been going down. I'm still waiting on my labs and stuff about my liver. 
the baby's doing fine. He keeps running away from the monitor. So they have to keep coming in and adjusting it. And I am super hungry and super thirsty. Um, she just brought me a little bit of ice to see what that's going to do. And then to make matters worse, Babe just left to go get a uh, pizza hut for him because he's hungry. And he hasn't really eaten anything all day. And I can't eat shit. Like nothing. And I'm so irritated. And I'm hungry. But it is what it is. So, um. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can see any of this stuff. But. That's where we at. And, um. The room is nothing spectacular. It's just small room. And this is where Babe was laid up at to sit beside me and to be with me. And they take my blood pressure, I think, every 15 minutes. So, but just want to do a quick little update. And hopefully I get to go home tomorrow and they don't talk about delivering my baby. Oh, so I did the COVID-19 test. Everyone here at this hospital has to do it. Now at my original hospital, I only had to do it if I had a C-section. So let's just say that I was terrified. That was really going to hurt, but it just felt really, really weird. It didn't hurt. It just felt weird. Like it's undescribable. It wasn't bad at all. Um. So, yeah, I guess I'm waiting on those results as well, too. And that's about it. So, I guess I'll come ew, watching Dr. Pimple Popper because it ain't nothing else on TV. And my husband is fascinated by this show. So, hopefully, um, I'll be going home tomorrow and the baby still could cook for a little bit longer. And, yeah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I know you can't really see me, but it's like 6.15 in the morning. One of my machines is going off. I don't know why. Uh, I have been tossing and turning all night. Really ain't getting no sleep. Um, I'm getting really hungry, like seriously. And I want something to drink with some flavor. I was even dreaming, y'all, about eating popsicles at food. I had dreamed the nurse came in here and asked me if I wanted a great popsicle. So I had woke up because somebody had opened the door and it was the nurse. I'm like, yes. And she just came to check like my reflexes and check my feet and my legs. And I was just like, boy, what the fuck? And I've been trying to be so good and not sip on none of this soda, babe. I, seriously. But, um, still kind of tired. Um, don't have an update yet to the doctors get here which um should be around eight ish um so i'm hoping i get to go home today without having a baby i hope i get to let my little baby cook um heartbeat and everything for the baby has been fine oh uh, my blood pressure has still been kind of up and down it's not as high as it was um, it's, it's chicken now. So it's not as high as it was. It was like in the 130s, 140s, but it's been, the highest I've seen it be is like 117. So, um, yeah. Let me see if it ain't gave me a little bit. No, this is trying to lick it. But yeah, so I just want to come back and do another update. Once I hear from my doctor and they tell me kind of what the game plan, who, what the game plan gonna be, then I'll come back and uh, sorry y'all, let you guys know, but oh there it is. I think it's checking for real, yeah, because it's getting really tight, so it's checking for real this time, so. I guess we'll see what it is. I really want some breakfast. They can't give me no food. Let's give me some grape juice or apple juice, lemonade, something here. I even take a cup of ice water. Now, their ice is really good. 
compared to my local hospital. And I'm in a hospital a whole hour away. There's 117 over, over 61. All right, guys. I may try to doze back off or play on my phone or something. I don't know. But, yeah. So, I'll holler at y'all later. So, this is my breakfast broth, jello, and apple juice. And I had a cup of Sprite. Um... My nurse practitioner said she was going to get me some real food, but instead I got this. So I'm going to be thankful. At least I can eat something. So, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. It is 8.45. And I just got my blood drawn for the fourth time in 24 hours. Well, actually fifth. Just that one particular vein got poked four times. Um, so far everything has been getting better, which is great. Um, so glad I got this little mattress um pad thing because this bed was very uncomfortable and I was able to get some rest last night. Um so just want to do a small little update. That's all I have. We're waiting on the blood that she just took to see if everything is still going down and then hopefully it is and I can come off the magnesium I can get rid of the catheter and we can discuss me going home and I don't have to have my baby at 32 weeks and 5 days so I just want to do that quick little update and yeah so you guys I am back with another update um, today is June the 20th it is around 8.55 um, so I received my first dose of Sonatec around 5.15 um, I just started my antibiotic for um, I think it's the GB antibiotic or whatever, I figured I would have it this time because I had it with my first child but um, I had to be induced um, due to my liver enzymes um, continue to spike up and down so he wanted to be um, proactive and so he went on ahead and then decided that he was going to induce my labor so um, I'm, my husband's at work I'm currently waiting for my mom to um, get here and I'm just chilling I've been trying to sleep and get my rest can't eat after 12 o'clock which I have three hours to finish eating whatever I'm going to eat um going to start Pitocin in the morning. So far, they say I'm contracting every three to four minutes. And they're kind of slight. Um, I don't know anything about dilation or anything yet. I know earlier, um, which was around maybe two or three something, when he told me that I was going to have to be induced then at that point. I think I was one and a half to two centimeters dilated, 50% and high that's what he said so um yeah I was very emotional um even though I had knew since Tuesday that this was a possibility I was gonna have to deliver my baby um early within like the 32 week mark but with my blood pressure and everything that was going down um I was thinking I was going to get to go home either um tomorrow or Monday which was not the case um this is my first time having pregnancy complications and like with my first baby everything was smooth no issues um so this was kind of very scary for me but one of my nurses had to be in the hospital for 40 something days and then just talking to different people um and talking to the NICU was kind of like reassuring but this just wasn't my plan like y'all I promise you I wasn't even eight weeks pregnant before my um birth plan what I needed my hospital bag my baby bag like all of that type so all of those lists was already typed out in my phone how I wanted to deliver like 
and I guess they always say tell God your plan so um my goal was to do an all natural birth this time because I had already been pregnant before and kind of knew what to expect but with my blood pressure um going up and down and with this pre-eclampsia and stuff I don't want to stress out the baby so if I have to get an epidural this time I am okay with that I am fine with that because it's not about me and my plan it's about getting my baby here very healthy and okay and um so if y'all see my hand my like I'm shaking a little bit um but yeah that's where we are so yep so nothing's going on here I'm trying to I don't know if I can really show y'all like the monitors just how by how I am because I'm the only one in the room right now and I'm kind of doing this by myself so give me a second so I can um try to see yeah I don't think y'all gonna be able to see none of that hello so this is officially the last update um, for this video um, I didn't get to film labor or delivery because that was literally like maybe 15 minutes so I'll definitely have to do a my delivery story but y'all it was crazy and so fast and I was in and out like the whole time which was crazy um so I had the baby at 10 16 this morning which is the 21st which is Father's Day so happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there and um he was four pounds and six ounces I don't know how long he was um but yeah so right now I am just recovering um I'm on my last doses of magnesium they're going to take me off of that in the morning since my blood pressure and everything has been stable since the baby so um yeah and I will give you guys all of the details of how everything happened and how everything went down um for this emergency slash slash surprising birth like it's crazy very crazy so um thanks for watching you guys and thanks for coming along with me on this journey and i will catch you all in the next video